hey guys welcome back to my channel so for this tutorial we are going to be doing a very very quick and cute an easy crochet style this is like the half up half down crochet we're gonna be using the Jamaican twist crochet braids it's very very it has a very very nice curl pattern it's very very cute fluffy bouncy um, just like a really nice flirty easy up um, not an updo but hairstyle um, as you can see this is very quick because I have my pajamas on and it's like a lazy hairstyle but still very cute so it's already setting the vibe for this video so I have the hair sectioned off ear to ear um, where I'm going to be doing the ponytail and in the back where I'm going to be doing the cornrows to do the crochet now for the nape of the hair I'm starting off with cornrows going sideways and then I'm going to proceed on to doing um, horizontal yeah horizontal cornrows at the middle section So I'm going to be doing the cornrows to make them connect because I want the middle section to be as flat as possible. You don't want it to be bulky, um, especially when the client has a lot of hair. So you want to make sure you kind of like braid the ends of the braids into the cornrows. You'll see what I'm saying in, in a little bit. But yeah, it just helps to create a very, very nice and even surface to work with uh, when it comes to crocheting. And it's very fast when you kind of get the hang of it. It just makes your your time process for crochet go down significantly so i always have the same patterns that i use for most of my crochet styles just to kind of you know when you do when you do something back to back like repetitively it, you're you become faster at it so yeah this is my method and i hope you guys like it or you try it <laughs> works really well So to slick down her hair, I'm going to be using the Shining Jam. Um, I really like this hair for like just slicking down ponytails, period, because it's not heavy on the hair. Like It's not like really, really harsh, but it still does the job, but it still kind of conditions your hair at the, at the same time. It's, it's a very, very nice product, and it works with braids as well, so it's like very versatile. Um, so I'm just going to be taking like a brush, and I'm just going to be smoothing the hair around the perimeter, making sure that I get all the knots, and I get it to be as sleek as I possibly we can um but yeah i hope you guys um this is very easy i hope you guys can understand it but yeah all i'm doing right now is just looking down the front of the hair just to make it as neat as possible you can use as little or as much product as you need um there's really not no like set um exact product size or quantity to use it's just like as much as you need so if you feel like the hair needs to be slicked down some more just add a little bit more product and yeah you should be good to go make sure you have a scrunchie on hand because we're going to be putting this in the ponytail so yeah <laughs>
recommend you start from the back um, before you start doing the actual crochet um, top section. I'm just going to be breaking down the crochet hair in half to make it kind of fuzzy. Not like too fuzzy, but like just to kind of break down the curls a little bit. Because if you install and if you install it whole, it's going to be like too curly. So you want to make sure you split it in half to kind of, you know, get more product for your bang essentially so we only used about three packs for this in the color 1b and you can get it at any local beauty supply it's a very popular brand so it's pretty easy to find or you can get it online i'll make sure i leave a link in the description below so make sure you guys check it out So when you get to the top you want to do like a braid because it's going to hold it up longer because you're going to be crocheting hair onto the hair so you want to create some type of a braid to give it a stronger base or a stronger foundation to crochet hair onto uh, instead of just leaving it kind of fluffy but I mean either way as long as you have like a nice um, let's say bobby pin or scrunchie to kind of secure it then you should be good regardless but you know I would say braid it up a little bit and then just like you know wrap it around and secure it. So this is what it's looking like when you're done with the back. It's very nice and cute and bouncy. So when you get to the top, you want to create like a nice um, half up, half down illusion. So your two options, you can either create a bun out of it or you can just kind of have it laying loose and carefree. Um, I think the bun is cuter her you know and it's more fitting and frame and frames the face better in terms of like the whole look of the hairstyle or you can do you know just add as much hair as you possibly can to cover the knots and then just leave, leave it hanging loose and just kind of take a pair of scissors to trim around it i'll show you guys what i'm referring to in a little bit but i like the look of just like leaving it in a nice little bun because it's like i don't know it just it just looks so much better to me and it looks clean and everything but i'll show you guys a picture of what I mean when I say kind of leaving it carefree versus leaving it in a bun so you guys get a better understanding some people prefer the other way some people prefer the bun but I like the bun I think it's cute so let me know what you like better would you do yours like loose at the top or would you leave yours with like a bun how would you wear it how would you style it um, yeah So just take a pair of scissors and trim it a little bit just to kind of give it some type of a shape or dimension and differentiate it from the um, from the crochet at the back. Now you can leave it like this which is kind of what I was saying. I'll insert a picture right here or you can create a bun out of it. I like the bun like I was saying earlier because I feel like it's more like it just looks clean and it looks nice or this is cute too. It has like a very like youthful vibe to it. Um, but yeah, just kind of play with it with your hands to kind of see what looks best, what looks more fitting for each, um, for your face frame, I guess. Um, or you can create the bun like I mentioned. All you have to do is just kind of like use your fingers to kind of create a circular motion to form um, a bun shape or uh, I guess a round shape. Now you can, it depends on how tight you want the bun to look or how loose. It's just up to you what look you're going for. But yeah, it's a very, very quick and easy tutorial. Right now you just see me like trimming some loose hair. The more hair you trim off, the less likely it's going to tangle up on you. So just like get as much hair as you possibly can. Like any loose hair you see hanging, just trim it down and you should be good.
So I'm going to be laying down her edges. I'm using the Argan Oil Extra Hold to slick it down a little bit. I'm just using my little like, I don't know what you call this, but it's like a mascara wand. Um, it's like a new one. It's not like a actual mascara. Like it hasn't been used in a mascara. It's just like an individual wand. But I'm just using it to stick down her edges and that's really it. This tutorial was like super, super quick, super easy. You can actually do it yourself. You don't have to come to me to, ha um, to do it for you. Um, just have someone do your cornrows at the back and then you can do the rest yourself. It's very, very easy. It's very DIY friendly. Um, but yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Have a merry day and God bless.